Hey folks, so in this video we are continuing our discussion of the eclipses of the summer of 2019. So this video can be thought of as a continuation coming out of what was discussed in part one. So even though for convenience I've divided these eclipses into two videos, they really have to be understood as a single unit as representing two phases of one deeper process happening throughout the collective. So it's up to you if you feel called to visit part one. That will most certainly help to situate the discussion here in part two, the discussion here of the lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So I'm going to hop off screen as usual and do this in a screencast so you can follow the chart and have a better visual appreciation of what is going on. So we said in part one of the eclipses of the summer of 2019 that the solar eclipse on July 2 represented at its core an initiation of a process of feeding Cancerian energy into Capricorn systems. And we said where the eclipses engage us uh, personally demonstrates where our personal, our own personal psychological growth relative to how the eclipses are interacting with our chart is serving the Cancerian needs of the collective, the broader initiation into values of more emotional intelligence, care, nurturance, empathetic understanding and rapport, the cultivation of a more archetypally feminine mode of consciousness. So let's describe the configuration of this full moon lunar eclipse. So the Cancer Sun at 24 degrees and 4 minutes opposes the Capricorn moon at 24 degrees and 4 minutes. So we see that the moon is conjunct Pluto, Saturn and the south node in a powerful constellation there in Capricorn pictured in the 10th house of the chart. We find Venus in a conjunction with the Cancer North Node, and Venus and the North Node are trine Neptune in Pisces. So Venus and the North Node at, at 16 and 17 degrees of Cancer, trine Neptune at 18 degrees of Pisces. We also find that Venus in Cancer is opposing Saturn in Capricorn. So Venus at 16, Cancer, Saturn at 16, Capricorn. So as we said, this lunar eclipse in Capricorn represents the culmination of a deeper energetic process which sets the foundation for the introduction of Cancerian energy into Capricorn systems and structures. So as we said in part one, we have the inner psychological structures of our relationship to integrity, responsibility, use of authority, the idea of spiritual adulthood or maturation. And then we have the outer Capricorn structures, governmental, institutional, political, and of course, as a collective, our inner psychological relationship to responsibility and authority conditions how we construct our institution. So the outer is a reflection of the inner. Now, as cancer represents at this time, a corrective balance to the shadows or misalignment of the Capricorn principle on the planet and as the eclipses act to reintroduce Cancerian values into Capricorn systems, we are still confronting or dealing with our attachment to the old Capricorn way, old ideas of power and achievement and what power and authority has to look like. So these eclipses are a very specific integration a very specific gateway of energy signifying a phase of reintroducing, as we said, this Cancerian energy into uh, Capricorn systems, signifying a specific integration phase of more balance between Cancer and Capricorn. But by no means does this represent a total completion of the process. 
So though the lunar eclipse represents the culmination of this very specific window of integration between uh, Cancer and Capricorn energies and archetypes, we are still in the process of dealing with our attachment to the old ways of executing power. The moon represents our psychic attachment to habitual ways of being. So we have the moon here at uh, its south node as eclipses are signaling us to the past and what psychological patterns have been cultivated throughout time which now need to be brought into a more conscious expression. So the moon itself and the south node of the moon are indexes of past patterning. So while this introduction of Cancerian energy into Capricorn systems as a corrective to the shadows of Capricorn is the basic active logic of this eclipse pair, the eclipse on July 2, solar eclipse, and this full moon lunar eclipse on July 16, we have to also be mindful that while this process is taking place as the decomposition of old parts of the Capricorn architecture is taking place and still underway, we can witness a lot of unconsciousness. And we see this symbolically here on the chart, the moon conjunct Pluto, our old unconsciousness comes into heightened expression, fuller expression as the moon waxes to its fullest extent. So this is the double tone that we have to appreciate as the planets simultaneously operate at various levels of consciousness. So Pluto at once represents the decomposition of the old Capricorn way and our invitation into more personal power, but it also simultaneously represents at other simultaneously existing realms of consciousness, the intensification of the misuse of power, the intensification of unconsciousness. So as this moon conjuncts Pluto at this lunar eclipse, we can witness within the collective a heightened phase of Plutonian unconsciousness, intimidation, institutional secrecy and manipulative control compulsive behaviors around our use of power. So there is the reality of that. We are facing in heightened ways the old unconsciousness, so it becomes more externalized. At another simultaneous layer of expression, we are also seeing the energetic fulfillment of the deeper integration of cancer energy that we've been talking about, Moon Pluto. The power of the moon cancer matrix, the power of emotional intelligence, the power of care and nurturance, of empathy, the power of human feeling centers, the power of human kinship to create more of a balance to Capricorn coldness, lack of care and concern. So introducing the power of emotional intelligence, Moon Pluto, to where there has been a shutting down Saturn of the emotional body, a shutting down which results in a failure to take loving responsibility for our human environment and all the entities within it, personal, uh, animal, plant, etc. So the Moon conjunct Pluto here is a powerful symbolic representation of the transformation that occurs as this uh, Cancerian lunar archetypally more feminine consciousness is reintroduced within the planetary collective in heightened ways. Now, at this full moon, as we said, we have Venus in a powerful conjunction with the North Node in Cancer, echoing in profound ways the necessity or requirement for this more feminine type of consciousness. So Venus in Cancer, loving protection, empathetic connection and rapport, values, Venus of care, Cancer, so Venus in Cancer at the North Node, opposite Saturn in Capricorn at the South Node. Protective love, emotional intelligence, and empathetic rapport 
Cancer Venus integrated into the Saturnian and Capricorn systems on the planet. So a karmic window which supports the re-emergence or integration of these values into the collective consciousness and its systems. The relationship is even more tight here. So Venus in Cancer is governed by the moon in Capricorn. The Capricorn moon disposits Venus in Cancer. The moon and Venus are working together and they represent a complex of feminine energy which I'm going to refer to as the mother. So at this lunar eclipse there is the presence of a strong maternal consciousness engaging the collective the Earth Mother, the maternal consciousness that is within the planetary body of Earth itself. So this is what is coming into the foreground as this consciousness is supporting and holding energetic space for the transformation of values and the integration of this energy of care into collective systems. Venus and the North Node are trying Neptune in Pisces. A powerful symbolic statement of compassion, higher, more transcendent values of unconditional love. And there is, at this lunar eclipse, the most loving, protective cloak of energy that is directly related to the maternal consciousness within the planetary body itself. So the unconditional love of the mother, the unconditional love that the planetary body selflessly extends to us and holds for us as the planetary body, a consciousness in and of itself agrees to be the site of our evolution and the very ground in which we play out the dramas of our human unfoldment along the lines of time. So the earth unselfishly and selflessly holds herself as the site of our own evolution and extends to us a grace that is beyond our total comprehension. So we are unable to fathom completely the grace that is extended to us as the planetary body facilitates the human evolutionary process. So this very loving, unconditional energy here, Venus Neptune, is extended to all, especially to those who believe that their only choice is to uphold and preserve the old Capricorn consciousness. So an unconditional energy of care is extended even toward those who are incapable of doing anything else other then try to abuse power and authority and those who have little concern for others. So those with this kind of a consciousness are still contained within the planet's grace as they too are participants within the journey of consciousness on the planet. So we are helped during this energetic window by the love of the mother by the unconditional love of the planetary body herself, Venus Neptune. So the Earth, the planetary body, and the maternal consciousness within it is contributing a very specific frequency of unconditional love to assist in the integration of the Cancerian energy into our Capricorn system. So there is a specific energy that the planetary body is contributing that is facilitating this process within the window of these eclipses. So this is really about the power, Pluto, of the mother, moon, the maternal archetype, the mother archetype, moon cancer, and the reintroduction of this energy into the underlying structural architecture of systems on the planet. And as we alluded to in part one, this lunar eclipse at 24 degrees of Capricorn is triggering the USA's Pluto and the USA's Mercury-Pluto opposition. So the USA's Pluto is at 27 degrees of Capricorn and the full moon is at 24 degrees of Capricorn. So the full moon here 
at 24 degrees of the sign is also in an exact opposition with the USA's Mercury at 24 degrees of Cancer. So interesting how this lunar eclipse is engaging the USA's chart there, triggering this uh, the USA's Mercury-Pluto opposition. So as we said, a lot of the old unconsciousness coming to the fore here, especially in relation to the USA and the use of information, Mercury, as a means for institutional control, Pluto. So institutional secrecy and withholding of information as a control mechanism, Mercury, Pluto. So this lunar eclipse here is highlighting that patterning within the consciousness of that entity, the USA, but even as there is this triggering of the old patterns, the USA will also be an important site of this re-emergence, this integration of the power of the mother, the power of care, symbolically captured by the full moon uh, conjunct the USA's Pluto. So for all of us, we are asked in individual ways to look at our attachment to the old ways of doing things, the old ways in which we exercise our power. And this broader task is symbolized by the full moon's configuration. The full moon here symbolizes the process by which things are brought powerfully into our awareness. So we look at it, we stand across from it. So quite literally, we are most aware of the moon when it is full. We can see it staring us in the face as we look outside our windows at night. So it is brought more powerfully into our awareness. Things are brought more powerfully into our awareness. So as the moon conjuncts Pluto, this full moon lunar eclipse symbolizes how we are collectively looking at our Pluto, facing the reality of it, moon, Saturn, Pluto, facing the responsibility to look at what we must, Saturn, even though it is less than pleasant, Pluto. And I was saying somewhere recently that unconsciousness gives way to consciousness. So a lot of us are finding that our old compulsions and habits, our old unconsciousness, Pluto, is coming to the foreground. So let's look at it from this perspective. When we get sick, the body is often in a process of trying to eliminate something. So it's in its own Plutonian process of elimination. But when the body is in this process of eliminating, we are in a heightened awareness of what is wrong. It's a similar kind of process going on here. So as you are in the process of eliminating past behaviors, these old attachments and compulsions will announce themselves more forcefully and perhaps there will be moments when you will be less proud of what you've done, of who you were in a moment. So remember to be forgiving to yourself as you go through your own process of change. So we've been looking at the broader collection evolutionary process of this powerful eclipse pair, the solar eclipse in Cancer on July 2 and the lunar eclipse in Capricorn on July 16, reminding you as always to look up and enjoy the visuals of the moon, of the full moon. Look up if you can and enjoy the physical aspects of all of this. And reminding you, as always, that I'm available for private astrological counseling consultations and links to that can also be found in the description box below. So until next time, talk soon. Bye.